when we talk about masonry, the thing that normally comes to mind is brick. Um, there's a lot of other kinds of masonry. There's concrete masonry units, there's uh, um, uh, clay tiles, there's, there's all kinds of different uh, types of masonry, stone. Um, but the classic one is really the brick. So let's start there and we'll think about how bricks work. Uh, mostly bricks are made from uh, different kinds of clay, clay and shale and a few other materials. Uh, and we'll talk about how they're made in a minute. Um, but the sort of basic terminology uh, for how we think about these things. If we have a, uh, a wall that's set up, that can kind of, in, especially in the uh, older days, of back uh, you know, 50, 100, 200 years ago, uh, you might have multiple lines of the brick, multiple uh, widths of brick. Um, so each one of these is one width. Um, and in order to make them work together, you would occasionally have one of the bricks go from one wife to the other, so across, uh, and that would then tie these bricks together. So in that context, if you're uh, looking at a brick and you're imagining it, and this is the face of the brick that's uh, being exposed, that's referred to as a stretcher. Uh, so the stretcher is the kind of typical brick that we normally see. Um, if you're looking at the one that's facing uh, across that, that was the, the that reached all the way across from one wife to the other wife, that would be referred to as the header. So the stretcher and the header. Um, and that kind of putting those together sort of makes up most of the wall. But then once you have uh, sort of a big wall of these things and you start having windows and uh, tops of the building and all kinds of places that you want to add a little more excitement to, you want to add a little bit of uh, something, people started uh, playing around with the bricks a bit. So they would take the brick and put it up on its side instead of, uh, um, instead of sitting on the, on the flat bed. So when it's up like this, and I have that, uh, so it's upward, but still the short direction upward, it's referred to as a row lock. Uh, and then if I wanna have the tall version up, uh, I get what's referred to as a soldier or a soldier course. And you'll often see the soldier courses where there'll be a whole bunch of them all lined up, say, above a window. And it's a way of sort of kind of graphically uh, claiming the headerness of the window. You're sort of uh, showing it as, a, as a, a design element, and it emphasizes the opening and, and creates a kind of a nice look, right? It's row lock you'll often see as part of the sill, it's a whole different ways that you can do these things. Some of these are very, very complicated, um, but those are very, very typical. Uh, it's possible that you would see what's referred to as a sailor, which is you're seeing the just like the soldier course, but you're seeing the flat face exposed. Um, that's a pretty rare move, and the reason for that is because that flat face absorbs, in, for most types of brick, that flat face absorbs more moisture than the uh, edges do, than these, these side edges. Uh, and so therefore, this would be a very dangerous thing to do for most types of brick because it would allow a lot of water penetration into that, uh, into that brick. But um, every once in a while you will find it. Uh, it is uh, sort of a, a kind of an unusual looking detail when you see those, those um, uh, big flat faces um, vertically um, suggested. Um, and the reason it's called uh, a sailor, um, if you kind of imagine a soldier standing um, at attention, a very straight uh, and, and sort of thin, uh, a sailor tends to have their feet apart when they're standing at attention if they're on a ship. Uh, otherwise, they would fall over when the ship rolls. Um, and so the wider stance of, the, of that particular one is why it's called a sailor. Again, kind of unlikely that you would really need uh, this in your everyday work. Um, the only reason I really mention it is that it's kind of an unusual term and uh, those are the kinds of things that are probably useful to kind of eh, log here and there uh, just because it's something you could be asked on an exam. Key questions though that are uh, definitely likely to show up, uh, this idea of the, the wife. Um, uh, some people will call it with. I call it wife just to make it uh, clearly different from the word with and the word width. Um, so I don't know which one is necessarily correct, but I say um, wife just to, for clarity. Uh, and then the other one is the course. And so we have each one of these is a course of brick. Um, and you'll find that that terminology shows up all over the place and it's very useful to kind of have at your fingertips. Uh, so this is sort of the basic terms and now we can start looking at 
kind of how these things get put together and uh, it'll be easier to talk about.